Hello this is Ashley from Crafting with Ashley and welcome to this video. This is the project we're making today. It's this little candy cane pouch as you can see. So let's get started. <clears throat> I've got a piece here of the Wrapped and Played Designer Series paper and I'm going to be using the full 6x6 inch piece. And we're going to score at 1 and 5 eighths on the one side, flip it around and we're going to score again at 1 and 5 eighths and then I'm going to turn it round again and we're going to score a one inch okay so let's get the scoreboard out the way and now we're going to fold on our score line so let's find this first one fold on it find our next one fold and then find our base and fold again okay so now on our base it's not always easy to see because of we are going to cut separate the tabs at the bottom and sorry about the noise I don't know which side is easier to see you're gonna here just cut up on the one inch side so that you cut up to that score line there Okay, and you're going to do that both on both sides. Okay, <clears throat> so now you've separated that one inch piece at the bottom. Okay, so now for our decorative piece at the top here, this decorative opening, I'm going to use the punch and I'm going to go about a little more than halfway down you can go as far down as you want and I'm going to go between these two lines here but <clears throat> I don't want to go any further down than the end of the punch so try and center it as best as you can hope for the best and punch yeah hasn't been too bad if I fold around you can see now you've got that decorative edge at the top okay and that's one of our label punches okay so let's start to put this little lot together so I'm going to put some tear and tape all the way down actually sorry <clears throat> one other thing you need to do is cut off these little tabs here I'm not thinking today properly <laughs> sorry at least we remembered before we started you want to cut these little pieces off as well There we go, so that you have a piece that looks like that <coughs> at the bottom, just with the centre tab in place, okay? Nothing else. Okay, so now I'm going to put some tear and tape along here first. And tear and tape is nice because it's good and strong. Once it's down and burnished, it's not that easy to get it all back up again without tearing, so it'll hold it nicely. Okay, as I said, it's a pressure adhesive tape, so give it a good push down. It'll make it stick better. And now it's going to stick down like that. So <clears throat> give this a burnish down here. So it sticks. Now we're going to put um, the core tear and tape down there. So let me first stick this piece down like that. So that'll hold it. And then going to put our tear and tape along here and I tend to be generous with the tape I don't want this to come apart and so just take the packings off if any tape is over the side as I said before just tuck it in fold this over and give it a good burnish again okay so that's all our sticking of the main project done, as you can see. So now let's just put that aside. We're going to do a little bit of stamping. I'm going to bring back my scrap piece of Whisper White. And the stamp set we're going to use is this one, Lots of Cheer. I'm using the sentiment set that says, May your Christmas be wrapped up in holiday spirit. So 
<clears throat> using cherry cobbler ink and I'm just going to ink that up and wait, shall we stamp it try and use the straight edge it'll be easier to cut it out yeah. lovely close up our ink pad and I'm going to bring in this other label punch that I have one is the story label and one is the everyday label but I can't remember which is which I need to label my punches but I'll have links to everything on my blog and then you'll be able to see exactly what's what in the gooseberry patch so punch that piece out there now for layering purposes I'm going to punch out another piece in some of this um, shader spruce so there we go and then all I'm going to do for this is just cut it down the centre like that <clears throat> and then on the back where's my snail uh, where have I put my snaily can't see here it is um, I'm just going to put some snail on the back here and then I'm just going to layer pieces together till you have a little border of the green and this is a trick when you don't have a punch and the next size up this is a trick that you can do to try and um, extend the life the use of your punches just like that okay so bring back our um, pouch and we're going to stick this down with some dimensionals and it's going to hold the county cane so it's going to be an angle so have a few there to make sure it stays on good okay so there we are and then finishing touches I've got some of these are metallic pearls and I'm just going to put one it'll come at the bottom there lovely so put in our candy canes very important there we go move the stuff out of the way and there you have two versions light and dark tell me which one you like better I think they're both cute so thank you again for watching if you enjoyed the video I'd be grateful if you could give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to future videos um, all the information about the project will be on the blog post on my website and the links to my website and all my social media links will be in the description box below thank you again and until next time enjoy being creative bye